Hey guys, it's Max2011 here, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a tutorial. What I'm doing the tutorial on is on the AT launcher. If you don't know what that is, it's like uh, the Tekkit launcher or the Feed the Beast launcher. It's just a launcher that you can download mod packs from. Uh, from the selected ones that they have. So what you guys want to do to get started is uh, I'm gonna well first off I'm gonna be showing you how to download it and how to use it and how to install the packs from it. So yeah, uh, first you want to go to your web browser of choice and you want to type in um, atlauncher.com/downloads or just atlauncher.com and then downloads right here. I will also have a link in the description if you just want to press that. Now what you want to do is go below the video right here and go to the download section. What you want to do is for whichever one you have, I don't know what they're called, Windows, Mac, or Linux, the, yeah, those things, uh, you just download it and like this, yeah, cool. I already have it though. Uh, and what you will get is this, the AT Launcher application. I think that's the only thing you will get. Uh, what you want to do is move that to a folder by itself, like I have it. This PC, downloads, and AT Launcher thing. Uh, that's what I called it. And when you open it up, you will um, get this. It will open up this, yeah. And it will start up. It will put tons of stuff into this folder. Just don't mind that. You will have to log in first. Uh, or if it's not logged in, then you go to Accounts and email username password remember password if you want to and you add the account then what you want to do to get a pack is well first off you can read the news on the packs anything on the news tab uh, here's where you get the packs this is where your packs go this is your account the tools for the launcher or extra tools that you can get to help you in minecraft or whatever and the settings for the launcher now to get a pack you want to go to the packs tab and you want to press whichever one you want there's a pretty big section as you can see um, I'm so what you do is you c for creating a server you can search that up online I'm not gonna be doing a tutorial on that right now uh, you can go to the website for it you can support the moderators you can view the mods in it or you can download it with the new instance one also down here expand all and collapse all it's just uh, different features so if you were to press it you can uh, change the name of what you want to name it and then the latest version is probably what you want to put and then uh, if it's just for you if you're using a computer that has more than one person like account on it then you tick that and it will only go to your profile like mine is max hunter 2011 it will only work on that one so then you just press install yeah I've already done this um, and I will redo it Um, wait, Sky Factory One Worlds, yeah, 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 okay. And then you'll get this thing when you press in, uh, install. You can pick, um, well, here's all the required mods which come with the mod pack no matter what. And then the optional mods, um, if you scroll over them like this, it will tell you what the mod is. And you could just click the name or the checkbox to check them. You could press select all, clear all, and that will only work with the optional mods. And then all you have to do is press install. It will open this. It will say downloading resources may take a while. And then it will say downloading. And it will have the amount that you've already downloaded. And then the how much there is to download. So I'm going to get right back to you guys when it's almost done downloading. Give me a second. Okay guys, so it has downloaded. I just reinstalled it because I was just showing you guys how it works. Uh, and it will say find it in your instances tab. Your instances are when you press new instance, it's just downloads. That's pretty much what it is. So it will give you the, your packs. There will be a scroll wheel if you have more than uh, two. So yeah, it will say the pack title. What is it? Uh, you can reinstall it, rename it, back it up, clone it, delete it, edit the mods in there, or open the folder to edit it directly and then all you have to do to get it running is press the play button it would check the accounts do everything for you in the console right here 
it will do all this stuff, I don't know. Um, and then it will open it up. And uh, when you open it up, it will have all the mod packs, I mean all the mods that uh, you had for the um, mod pack. All the ones that you were installing, all the optional ones, every single one that you ticked, and all the required mods will be on here. And it's that simple, guys. So, um, I'll just show you really fast if it pops up. Uh, with most mod packs, it will say not responding for a little bit because they're very big and it has to load it. Um, but I'll show you if it pops up. But yeah, that's it, guys. If you guys enjoyed, please hit that like, bu like button, subscribe, and comment. That would help me a lot. Um, this is Max Center 2011. Not signing off. Give me a second. There's the Minecraft thing. In a memento. I'll be back when it loads. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm um, just showing you really quickly. Uh, with the one that I have, the Sky Factory, it will have these two things right here. Oh, I thought I was gonna sneeze. Um, so it will have a random mob. Yeah, it's weird. And then, yeah, and then your skin right here with a tool, I believe. It might not. Yeah, with a tool. Um, and as you guys can see, one of 30 mods loaded. You can go through all of them, check it with con uh, configuration or disable the mod and it will be like a normal minecraft world so that's it guys um again if you guys enjoyed please like the video subscribe and comment it would all help me uh this is max 2011 signing off